Welcome, welcome to the Empower Pods, where women, money, and purpose all collide in an insanely powerful, sweet, and short punch of inspiration. I'm your host, Olivia Jarris. All right, let's have a little bit of real talk here. And perhaps it's a real talk that you've ignored and or have been conditioned to think is a little bit fluffy and that you don't really know if you believe in it and you just question it. And I want to confront you on this because most of us are trained to believe that the only way to achieve your dreams and ambitions is through hard work. And we don't give enough credit to the knowledge and the understanding that perhaps, maybe perhaps, your thoughts and beliefs influence the reality that you see today and what you create for your future. And this is something that is so prevalent that we've been conditioned to believe and it just naturally like, okay, my beliefs and thoughts are one thing, but the way that things happen is a completely different one. And the truth of the matter is the reality that surrounds you, what you achieve, what you don't achieve, your success is directly correlated to the thoughts that you've allowed yourself to believe. If you've allowed yourself to believe that you are not good enough to be a millionaire, not good enough to have a very wealthy career or (laughs) run a multi-million dollar empire or buy that like penthouse in New York City, do you think you can possibly achieve it? No. And even if you work really, really hard, you're not going to achieve any of your goals until you actually see yourself achieving those goals. It's very straightforward and it's very simple. Anything and everything that you see that surrounds you was once a thought. Looking at cars, the car that I'm driving right now, it was a thought in someone's mind. Like someone had to see it in their mind and believe it before it actually came true. Now my question to you is, have you seen in your mind the outcome that you want? Have you believed that you can achieve it? Most of us have been conditioned to see, oh, I'd love that penthouse in New York City. That'd be really nice. But our belief system has been trained to say, but I'm not worthy of it. I'm not good enough. I can't work hard enough. I'm not worthy of the money to buy that. And that really just leaves that seed right there with no nurturing. It's like, let's take an oak seed or an apple seed. If you plant it in soil, give it the right setting, right? The, the, you give it sun, you give it the conditions for it to flourish, it's going to grow. And it's going to become a tree that that tree eventually gives fruit as well, right? So that seed goes through a lot of phases before it actually becomes that New York City apartment or that multi-million dollar business, career, whatever it is that you're trying to build. It has to go through the process. Before it can give fruit, it has to be a sapling. Then it has to weather all seasons before it's strong enough to actually give life. And there's a purpose to to winter, summer, spring, and fall. It weathers the tree. It creates that bark, that external, like, what's it called? not fortress, but like armor, so that the tree is strong enough to withstand anything and then nurture other seeds. And then it's just like, once it reaches that stage, it self creates hundreds of other seeds every year, 
right? So there's a process, of course, to creating your dreams, but it all starts with you nurturing that seed. You have the seed. I am absolutely certain, beyond any doubt, that your creator, whoever you might believe that is, it might be you yourself, but you just perhaps, you know, think that it's something external to you. I quite personally believe that, I'm going to be very honest with you, here's what I believe. I believe that we are all divine in so many different ways. I think that we are part of whoever created us. Otherwise, like, why would they have created us, right? But that's my personal belief. I totally believe that we are divine human beings and that we are the creators. But even if you don't believe that, what's really important here is to understand that it's not a coincidence that you have that dream in your mind. It's not a coincidence that you have that ambition, that you have that seed or thought of success in whatever realm of life, whether it's like personal fitness, wealth, um, material successes, whatever it is, it wouldn't be your dream if you weren't capable of achieving it. My dream is not to be a professional football player because it's, it's not within my realm to achieve that. I don't have the qualifications. I don't have the tools to achieve it. So I got no interest in doing that. I've got no interest in becoming an astronaut. I got no interest in becoming a Wall Street financier, even if it does make billions of dollars, right? Those aren't my calling. You know what your calling is. You know what you have been called to do. You have that seed for a reason. And I firmly believe that you have that belief inside of you because you've also got everything it takes to nurture it, right? Think about it. When this apple tree is giving fruit, right? It's producing apples that are gonna have seeds that are going to be spread everywhere. The seeds, the apple, falls in the same ground. Like, it doesn't fall far from the apple tree. You know that saying? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So that seed that is encased by the fruit, follow my drift here, okay, has everything it needs. It it's comes pre-packaged with everything it needs to thrive. Like the fruit in it of itself is the nurturing, like the packaging, the casing of the seed. And then the fertile ground is already there because we already know that another apple tree just grew there. Or well, just. It took its time, but it grew there. So you know that that seed within you exists for a reason, exists because you are capable of achieving it. It does take nurturing. So what does that mean for you? What does nurturing that dream mean for you? In order to make dreams a reality, we need to give them the time and space to see them happen. You need to give it water, you need to give it the soil, you need to give it sunlight. And think of the sunlight as giving it the attention it deserves, the nurturing it deserves. Think about it, envision it, get really freaking clear about it. What does that penthouse in New York City look like? What does that private jet plane look like? What does your bank account look like? What do you look like when you are being successful? And that's the important one. What do you look like when you are successful? And then give it the water, right? Put yourself in the place where you're either within proximity or you're doing those things that are gonna allow the flow 
of your genius zone, of bringing that to life, bringing that dream to life. And it doesn't mean you know where you're going. It doesn't mean that you know every step of what you need to do. It just means that you need to follow that flow that feels good for you, that feels nurturing, that feels energizing. So I want you to think about your dream, the reason that you're motivated to continue going. Like what is that dream? What is that tiny little seed? And how can you nurture it today? How can you give it some light? Right? How can you give it that attention that it needs? Believe in it. Maybe spend the next 10 to 15 minutes envisioning it. Like give it that clarity, that light that it needs. And then what is that nurturing flow that you need to step into so that it can start that journey to become a sapling and then to weather a few storms and become that apple tree? right? And some trees grow faster than others. I mean, and some are really slow, but then once like bamboo, right? It takes years for it to get, it's like sapling phase through, but then once it's established, it's like invasive and it's everywhere. So what's it going to take for you to find that sunlight? And then what's it going to take for you to step into that nurturing flow. You don't need to know exactly how to do it. All you need to do is take that next step. What is that next step? Also, listen, I'm going to ask you that if you like these podcasts, if you feel inspired and empowered by them, please go ahead and share them with other women. They are meant to to inspire and empower you and get you jump started for the week. They are meant to be shared because let's face it, when we help each other out, we change the reality for those around us. We make this world a better place. And uh, also let's face it, when women believe in themselves, when women are empowered, we make this world a better place. So go on, take on this world by storm. Let's go ahead and crush it. All right, my friend, that is a wrap for today. I hope you go forth, take on your week, be inspired, motivated, and driven to achieve absolutely everything you desire and get paid what you really deserve. Now, if you have not yet opted in, I would love to send you my 60-day business and life planner completely free. All I ask is that you pay shipping and handling and I will send you a hard copy of my planner, which I've put together just because I know that so many planners out there, oh gosh, they have so much fluff, so many goals, so many things and bells and whistles that they make you actually lose track of your goals and purpose rather than help you focus in to achieving them. So... I want to send you your free copy. Make sure that you go to hermoneyschool.com and claim your version for free. Totally on me. Just cover shipping and handling and it is yours. With that, until next episode, see you later.